simply watch the game over another beer. The game has gotten close in terms of points, a little too close than what I'm comfortable with. After a particularly skilled player scores a number of points for the other team, putting them in the lead, I hear an affirmative grunt from another man at the bar. Go team! <laughs> Oh, 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 it's him! Oh, 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 hang on. Oh, sugar. I've just knocked my Avery Media thing off the shelf. Avery on our pockets likes this one. This. <laughs> <laughs> the fact that it knocked his Avery Media card off the Is table. it still working? Uh, yes, it is. Okay. Make it back. Okay. And it's the pretty man from the coffee spoon. He sits alone, sipping whiskey and watching the game as well. Enjoying the game? <laughs> Do you want to take him? No, no, Puckets, he's all yours. <laughs> <laughs> you got the br- do the brooding man voice. The brood- brooding man voice. Um, I am now the word that we're winning. Is that right? Is that brooding? It was terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> it was probably right. I'll try and tone it down as we go on. Oh, we must be running for different teams. In my opinion, my team is far superior. <laughs> It's like my, 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 um, what's his name? The guy from Metal Gear Solid, his voice. Solid Snake. I have to disagree with that, based upon our win-slash-loss record. I'd say that my team is superior. That's where you're wrong. As it stands right now, my team is beating yours. The conversation ends there, and we both go back to silently rooting for our own respective teams. The game is close, with both sides playing their hardest to win, but in the end, my team prevails. A quiet, che- quiet cheer ripples through the bar. I raise a respectful glass at the man drinking whiskey. He raises his in response. An unspoken truce is formed between us on a mutual love for the game. He motions to the bartender, who pours two glasses of whiskey. The man slides one over to me. Oh! <laughs> My name's Rupert. Thanks, uh, I'm Pookets. You must be new here. Mary already hit on you. Yeah. Robert chuckles. <laughs> Don't mind me. That's just my laugh. <laughs> the whiskey talking. She's a peach. Well, you picked the best bar in town. As slimy as it is, you'll never find a better spot than Jim and, Jim and Kim's. Jim. Oh, look, he's softened up a bit. Oh, he's not so brutal. Tell by his face. Not as angry. <laughs> is there actually a Jim or Kim that runs this place? I... No. That'd be Neil. Neil waves from across the bar. Hello! <laughs> we had the same idea. Hey. Good guy, Neil. But not enough to let it. Not enough Neils in this world. <laughs> okay. Huh. You a whiskey fella or a beer, beer fella? Beer. But I'll drink most things. Uh. You like shots. <laughs> Uh-oh. Ooh. Shots fired. <laughs> oh. Oh. See, when I did drink, I really did like shots. Oh, I love pockets. Oh, uh, no. I'll say I like shots. The thing is, though, this guy is kind of... He's the bad me. boy. <laughs> he is. He's the drift. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Robert nods to Neil, who serves up two shots of whiskey. He hands one to me. Oh. Here's to your health. Probably not after drinking this, but... Uh, Anybody handed me a drink and said, here's to your health, I'd be straight out of <laughs> <laughs> we take the shots, the whiskey burns going down, but I try my hardest to look tough. Oh my god! <laughs> it burns! Ah! Ah! There we go. <laughs> then another for the bar himself. <laughs> Wait, I think this is what making friends is. Okay, Pockets, this guy is out of my friend link. <laughs> But I think if I play my cards right, we'll be pals in no time. What should I do? Oh. He has a cool tattoo. Right. I can't see him because of the box. Oh, it's on his hand. Yeah, you can just about make it out. I like his I've leather jacket. I've been checking out his whole clip art this whole time, man. I know we're, <laughs> like, top to bottom now. <laughs> his, uh... I don't know, his coat's pretty cool. It is. I'm going to compliment him on his coat. I like your jacket. Got it off a dead mm. body. <laughs> Thanks. It's been in my family a long time. Passed down from fourth, firstborn to firstborn. Cursed, some would say. 
man, this guy's mysterious and cool. He's like an anime <laughs> photographer. <laughs> Way cooler than I am, at least. <laughs> yeah, he is, right? No, but then you could be his yin to his yang, you know what I mean? <laughs> He's the cool brooder one, and the other one looks like... I'm like the geeky, nerdy mess. Yeah. <laughs> I got a Bergy shirt! Yay! Bergy! Yay! <laughs> oh, man, I really desperately almost... I almost quoted a... Was it Don Hertzfeld? One of his cartoons? <laughs> <clears throat> anyway, Robert signals to the bartender for another round. What are you doing here tonight? Um... Uh, <laughs> should I... Nah, my door kicked. I'm gonna be truthful, cause you know, being being honest is is best. Uh, not like forever. She's having a sleepover with her friends. <clears throat> Family type, huh? Uh-huh. Single dad. Hmm. Yeah, he made the new sound. Like I did. Like a voice acted in my headphones. Oh right. Does he literally sound like that? He sounds that exactly his- like that. That's so uh, amazing got, got how art can team. art can pull that pull that across. He gets up. Uh, Be right back. Gotta powder my nose. And by powder my nose, I mean lots like, of cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> he comes back. He's like, "Hey, how you doing there, buddy?" <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen Robert this talkative. He must like you," says Neil. "Oh, that's you. Sorry, my bad." Ah, oh, I can't remember. It's fine. Ha! Huh, I guess so. I gotta admit, Robert has a gruff charm to him. If a guy like that thinks I'm cool, then I really must be. Robert comes back from the bathroom and grabs his leather jacket. Don't you take that home. <laughs> I'm gonna go home. You heading my way. Oh, is that midnight? <laughs> oh, Robert and I leave the bar and find ourselves walking in the same direction. Hi. I live in the cul-de-sac down the way. Does everybody live there? <laughs> Me too! I just finished unpacking today. Oh. Great place to be. Good neighbours. Well, some of them. Who's that? We get to Robert's house, which is just a few houses away from mine. We stop and he turns to me. Mm. I don't kiss and tell pockets. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like this. Oh, my body's not. <laughs> so are we doing this or what? Oh, no. Oh, what? Is this like... What? There's so much subtext, I don't know where I am. <laughs> am I gonna sleep with this guy? <laughs> what? Uh, you know, do you wanna come inside or not? Um. <laughs> um <Pockets>. No. Pockets. <laughs> what? This might be an absolutely fantastic time to tell you. But I promised that would come off the mic chat in half turn. Oh no! It's like everyone's going to bed and I'll probably like wake them up. Okay, that's no worries. Uh, but I'll you... hang about in the chat though. <laughs> oh, no. But hey, hey, pockets. You started this, you better finish it. <laughs> what have you done to me, Lightson? Me? <laughs> I knew I'd get the blame for this. <laughs> Alright, okay. I'll see you in the chat. Are you, you have yeah. to do a real life blush though, because that's part of the thing. Hang on a minute. Um, so I'm going to stop so just like... screencasting with you, or shall I screencast? Shall I screencast? No, no. Mm. I will. It better be pointless. Yeah, I'll be, be pointless. reacting before everyone else in the chat will be confused. Okay, I'll, I'll do that then. <laughs> okay, cool. Right. I'll see you in chat. See you later. <laughs> I'm just switching. Uh... I'll be silently judging you. <laughs> <the whole time>. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you're leaving me right now. Like the most important moment. <sighs> Oh. I know, well, it had a lot of beginnings, <clears throat> this. It took quite a while to get into it, you see. Alright, I'll see you later. Oh, God. Guys. 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 Come back. Let's come back. Don't leave me. Don't leave me. No. Oh, we're on our own now. Okay. Right. Oh, I'm alone and afraid. I'm alone and afraid. Oh, no. Okay. A wave of realization rushes over me. I blush. Oh, oh, oh my, oh my! <laughs> Let your dad instincts guide you. Um. Oh no! Oh no! What do I do? Oh, this is so awkward. 
Um, I don't know, I quite like this guy, but he's a bit creepy. Ah! <laughs> um... Mm, mm, okay, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it, guys. I'm gonna take this one, quite literally, for the team. Here we go. Smile and nod. Let's do it. I follow him up to his door. He fumbles with his keys for a second and unlocks the door leading me inside. The moment the door closes behind us, he pushes me up against the wall and kisses me, grabbing my hips. Come on. Robert takes my hand and leads me up the stairs into what I assume is his bedroom, but it's so dark I can't see anything but Robert's intense expression. Oh, oh no, Lyson, what are you doing to me? <laughs> Thank you so much for the cheer. Oh, Tom, Brothers, again, seriously, dude, thank you so much as well. Lights and Brothers, thank you so much for the bits, dudes. And dudettes. Oh, God. <laughs> he kisses me again, and I can hear him shucking off his jacket. I clumsily take off mine, too. Hey, thanks for the cheer, e my. That's amazing, thank you so much. <laughs> I clumsily take off mine too, his hands roaming down my chest, he suddenly is tugging at my belt, oh no! I uh, I uh, my body's- Do you want me to stop? Um, 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 ah, uh, no, no, good. Robert continues to unbuckle my belt and case me to the bed. I feel as if I need to go lock my door. I feel as if I'm playing like a really dirty game and like my parents are gonna walk in any second. But like it's my boss. Like if my boss walks in right now. Oh no! Ah. Oh, uh, uh, don't worry. Like we're we're not gonna play much longer after eleven because I need to eat. So because I haven't had any anything to eat. So don't worry about. It. <laughs> Robert continues to unbuckle my belt and guides me to bed. Let's have some fun. Sunlight streams in between the slats of my blinds. Of the blinds. My head is pounding. I really overdid it last night. Wait a minute. This isn't my old house. Or my new house. <laughs> oh. Right. I look around for Robert, but I find myself alone. Um. Did we just bone? <laughs> There's a clatter from the bathroom and the door opens. It's a f <laughs> Robert is fully dressed and grabs his keys. Yeah, look at all those bottles, man. And the cigarette ashes and doubts and stuff over there. This guy's really unclean. I feel unclean. Guys, I, f I feel super unclean. UNCLEAN! UNCLEAN! <laughs> that was fun. Yeah, uh, yeah it was. Uh, we just played Pokemon, right? We, d we didn't actually, uh... You should go. That certainly was not what I was expecting. Well, uh, talk to you later? Robert cracks a smile. Sure, your clothes are over there. I... That was Dan's voice. Oh, man. I hastily get dressed and show myself out. The sun is unbearably bright. I need to lie down. I start to make my way back home when I suddenly remember. Amanda! You look through the window, Jason's robot kids are staring through the window, mouths open. <laughs> I just slept with Dan. Uh, amazing. <laughs>